This is Global News at Noon. Hello and welcome to Global News at Noon. I'm Jaden Lee Lincoln. It's clear skies right now in Toronto, but 24 hours ago, it was a very different story. The city is still taking stock after two day, Tuesday's torrential downpour. For the latest, I'm joined live by Sean O'Shea. Sean, what are you seeing out there? Jaden, what a difference a day make, says you said. Beautiful sunny day here, but 24 hours ago in the area where I am right now, this is one of the worst areas for flooding in the city of Toronto. Here's some context. The, the water was pretty much up to the base of my neck. Take a look at this photo, which shows a car that was here in this exact same spot. The water pretty much up to the roof of that car. And just a little bit earlier than that, our camera crew, we came up to the owners of that car. They were in that vehicle. They could not get any farther. And we helped them get out, of course, when the water was much lower. But they were panicked because they didn't see this coming. They didn't see the water rising so fast. And rising, it did. It just got so bad and it was so terrifying for so many people here and that's true all around the GTA or all around the city so much flooding uh, nearly a hundred millimeters of rain came down at Pearson Airport most rain in over a decade it was basically a whole month's worth of rain in just a matter of a few hours from a power perspective 167,000 Toronto Hydro customers were without power many of those customers today still without power uh, it caused traffic snarls all over underpasses were flooded Basements were flooded. The cleanup today just being contemplated by a lot of people. This is going to be one very expensive cleanup as a result of that sudden gush of water yesterday that hammered Toronto and the GTA. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau was in Toronto today. Here's some of what he had to say about the flood yesterday. It was a uh, significant event, uh, and I want you to know that we're all uh, there to work together to make sure that uh, not just people get supported through this, but that this happens uh, more and more infrequently in the coming years. The reality is, though, that with climate change, uh, there are going to be more extreme weather events. So we need to continue to step up on our fight against climate change. Clean up. That's for sure, a very big cleanup. This stretch of roadway is still closed to traffic. There are cyclists coming through here, uh, one street cleaner after another. And that's pretty much the scenario on a lot of streets in and around Toronto today. A lot of people evaluating the damage in their basements. A lot of people still not able to go to work. Some businesses not able to operate yet because they don't have full use of power. Today, a lot of basic cleanup and contemplation of what's next. This is going to be one very expensive event to clean up and you can imagine that insurance rates will be going up as a result. Jaden, back to you. No kidding. Thanks so much, Sean. And we're learning more about some of the rescues pulled off by first responders in this about some of the rescues pulled off by first responders in the city yesterday. In Etobicoke, the Royal Canadian Coast Guard rescued a man from an island in the middle of a creek. Fire crews requested a military search and rescue helicopter from Trenton to assist. The man escaped the scary situation with no injuries. It was a great job by uh, the Army coming in with their helicopter. Uh, they brought uh, their, their rescuer down, made contact with the, uh, the person stranded, and brought him up and brought him over to uh, Peel EMS uh, to be assessed. Rowe added that his crews are specifically trained for this type of situation. Well, the cleanup continues after the top five rainiest days on record yesterday at 97.8 millimeters. That's more than a month's worth of rain in just a matter of a few hours. You can see some of the top rainiest days at Pearson. Uh, July 8th, 2013, that was certainly significant. And the second uh, being Hurricane Hazel when that storm moved through back in 1954. Okay, so today we are expecting drier conditions, although there is the chance of of a scattered shower this afternoon into the early evening hours around the GTA. Not expecting torrential downpours with this. Portions of southwestern Ontario, I know you've had heavy rain as well. The risk of a thunderstorm, there could be a scattered shower around the Montreal area as well. So a look at the forecast conditions across the area today. Uh, we are looking at that chance of showers. Temperatures still making it to the high 20s today. Uh, the Humidex values will be more comfortable around uh, the GTA, but still into the uh, mid 30s as you head farther east into Ontario and around Montreal. We'll get into cooler areas across the board uh, later this week, and I'll have those long-range details taking into the weekend coming up.
Kiel Regional Police in Well, after close to 100 millimeters of rain yesterday, I know there's still the cleanup happening around the area. Uh, part, much of southern Ontario, southwestern Quebec didn't get into that heavy rain, uh, but there were still some heavy bands of rain at times around uh, much of eastern sections of the country. A quieter weather day uh, today around the GTA. The chance of a scattered shower. We're not expecting anything too heavy, though. And you can see the temperature getting up to near 26, 27. The humid X will be in the low 30s. We've been in the mid to high 30s over the last few days, so not as humid. And if you're looking for more comfortable overnight sleeping weather, I can deliver on that. Mid-teens overnight tonight, and that's around where we'll be for the next few days. Let me show you the upper level pattern. It continues to be hot. We still have this heat ridge in the west. And as we take a look at the jet stream, you can see it rising to the north. We've got a dip or a trough in the east. Cooler air arriving, and that cooler air is going to stick around uh, for the next few days. It's certainly not going to be quite as humid. A Montreal still a humid day today, but it will cool down. We're tracking a boundary that will move from west to east, and as it does so, it will provide the chance of a scattered shower around the GTA, perhaps a thunderstorm in southwestern Ontario later this afternoon towards the evening hours. That's where there could be a stronger storm. Some heavy downpours, uh, but I guess again farther east, perhaps around the Ottawa area as well. Uh, but the GTA, it'll just be scattered in nature, possibly a shower around Montreal this afternoon and early this evening. And then we get into a drier and uh, well, quieter air mass uh, through the area over the next couple of days uh, and into the weekend. So here's a look at what you can expect tomorrow 22 degrees on Thursday. So actually, Cooler than average around Toronto. We're back up to the mid 20s on Friday with the sunshine. 27 on Saturday. Some late day showers possible on Sunday. And then we are dry, it looks like, into Monday and Tuesday. As we take a look at Montreal, you can see 25 uh, tomorrow, 27 on Friday, 28 on Saturday. And we're into the mid 20s on Sunday. So still warm, but just not as warm and humid as it has been. And it looks like we're getting into a dry stretch as well for the next several days, which is good for that cleanup. And that's a look at your forecast. All right, thanks. In Toronto, with city officials saying their infrastructure isn't designed to handle torrential rain like the kind they saw yesterday. Parts of the GTA were submerged underwater as the city got hit with a month's worth of rain in one day. Sean O'Shea has more on the chaotic aftermath. As Tuesday's heavy rain came down hard, water levels crept up quickly, raising anxiety for those stuck on flooded roads, like the couple in that Volvo, Tammy Chan and her husband. He was saying that um, we need to go through quickly. We cannot stop. The Chans tried to make it but couldn't. As we were waiting, we just saw water rising. And I said, when, when, when is it going to stop? We found the couple and helped them to safety. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they were wet but unharmed. Not long after they got out, the water on the Bayview South Extension kept rising. Their car was nearly swallowed up. This picture shows the water practically at their roof. Fire crews spent Tuesday rescuing others in similar circumstances, but they couldn't safely reach one man stuck on a small island on Etobicoke Creek. We decided that uh, we couldn't get this person off safely with uh, just a fire and marine police, so it was decided to bring in the uh, army and the helicopter in from Trenton. They brought uh, their, their rescuer down, made contact with the, uh, the person stranded, and brought him up. The rain has ended, but the headaches haven't. Thousands of homeowners still don't have power, like Bill Atherton. It was supposed to be finished at noon today. It's not done yet. Power outages hit homes and affected businesses. Many were hit hard by the storm. This auto dealership beside the Don Valley Parkway lost several exotic vehicles to flooding in its outdoor parking lot. A day later, the water is gone, but the damage is done. At Woodbine Beach, bathers are warned to stay out of the water because it's not safe. It may take several days before anyone should swim in the lake again. As the cleanup continues, the Prime Minister offered the federal government support. I want you to know that we're all uh, there to work together to make sure that uh, not just people get supported through this, but that this happens uh, more and more infrequently in the coming years. As for Tammy Chan and her husband, the ones in that car, they didn't just lose their vehicle on Tuesday. Things got even worse later on. We went home last night. Uh, we encountered our flood. Our basement was flooded. We had power, power off. So, you know, it was quite a, an ordeal. Sean O'Shea, Global News. Even Canadian rapper Drake could not escape being impacted by yesterday's torrential downpour in Toronto. 
The rapper posting this video to social media of water rushing into his multi million dollar home on the bridal path. The caption said, This better be espresso martini. Well, fortunately, the rain clouds are out of the way for now. In fact, a beautiful night to be out along uh, our waterfront, and that's where Bill Hall is. He's on location next to Crawford Wharf for the first look at the local forecast. Ahoy, Bill. Ahoy! Yes, we're on board the upper deck of the Island Bell. Uh, a lovely night. Certainly a lot better than it was last Wednesday. If you recall, remnants of uh, Tropical Storm Barrel was barreling through the region. And, uh, oh, it's so much nicer tonight. A nice breeze off the lake. A very welcome breeze. As a, still a little bit of humidity in the area. Certainly not as bad as it has been. We're getting a little relief now as we see a westerly flow. Eventually, it'll become more northwesterly. Uh, Kingston, the Islands, uh, uh, Kingston Thousand Islands cruises uh, will have us down here just about every Wednesday. And I think we've been pretty lucky with uh, the weather so far. Uh, tonight, uh, dropping to about 14 degrees is partly cloudy conditions. For tomorrow, mainly sunny and up to 23 Celsius. That 23, probably feeling more like a 27. So not really a big point spread in temperature and humidex levels. Uh, and certainly both temperature and humidity have come down. A little bit of relief. Uh, the excessive heat warnings have been dropped in the northeast and Brockville, Smith Falls and beyond. And uh, we're feeling a lot more comfortable here too. We'll have your full forecast coming up soon and news about uh, what Kingston Thousand Islands Cruises has to offer this summer. We'll be back shortly. First Weather is brought to you by Aubin Windows and Doors. For premium products, award-winning service and professional installations, visit aubin.com. Yes, we're looking at some really nice conditions across the region. A, a beautiful time to take a cruise. You could take a brunch cruise daily aboard the Island Queen, that lovely boat right behind me, uh, at 10.30. Uh, Three-course meal and uh, out on the water to enjoy it. Uh, just one of the many things Kingston Thousand Islands Cruises has to offer. Uh, yeah, and, and like I said, beautiful conditions. Uh, taking a look at our surface analysis map, it'll be... Uh, Beautiful uh, weather on the water and off the water for several days, right into the middle of the next week before we see any chance of, uh, of active weather, any chance of showers, not till hump day of next week, I think. Uh, we are looking, and why? Well, it's because we've got not one, not two, but three high pressure systems building over uh, the Great Lakes Basin right now, and so very nice conditions. Uh, and. Uh, I don't see it changing. Unless Mother Nature throws us a curveball and puts in another uh, variable we can't currently see, uh, things are looking nice for quite a, a stretch. Belleville, your forecast, a high of 24 tomorrow, mainly sunny conditions, and uh, not much of a human X factor either, a 24 feeling like 28, so it's only a four-point spread, uh, not 10 to 11-point spread we had. It was very muggy uh, and unstable as a result of that, triggering showers and thunderstorms. Now we're looking at much more stable conditions. Friday, a mainly sunny High 24, up to 26 on Saturday in the Quinty region. And again, mainly sunny conditions. Brockville, high 23 tomorrow, feeling like a 28 with a mix of sun and cloud. Mainly sunny over Friday and Saturday as we see seasonal highs in the Brockville region. Smith Falls, up to 23 tomorrow, and uh, feeling like a 26 with a mix of sun and cloud. For Friday, a high 26, mainly sunny, more of the same Saturday, and a high of 27. Kingston, your forecast, up to 23 degrees tomorrow, feeling like a 27. Those west winds rolling in at about 20 kilometers per hour by the afternoon and mainly sunny. Yeah, mainly sunny Friday, mainly sunny Saturday. How many ways can you say sunny to make it interesting? Mix of sun and cloud Sunday. Monday, a mix of sun and cloud with a high 25. And up to 27 on Tuesday with a mix of sun and cloud. And there you go. Wednesday of next week, about a 40% chance of showers, a high of 25. Now your weather wallpaper. This one comes from Rochelle Leonard of Bob's Lake. That's Drake uh, diving into the sunset uh, on Bob's Lake. Uh, what a lovely shot. Uh, thanks so much for sharing, Rochelle. If you've got uh, photos, uh, send them to us at submissions at ckwstv.com. Bill looks like Drake got some height on that jump, too. Yes, nice. 
Now, I have to ask you, uh, when it gets that hot and humid uh, where you are down by the water, are you ever tempted to uh, take a dive off that boat into Confederation Basin? Are you taunting me, Bill? No, no, it's not a are challenge. You, is this a dare? <laughs> no, no. It, you know what's nice about being down here? What's that? When it's 30 degrees inland, it's only about 25 here. Yeah. So uh, you get a nice gentle breeze off the lake, right? So there's a lake effect. True. And right now, it is very nice. Okay, well, you stay right where you are. No diving. We need you high and dry for the 10-day outlook a little bit later. Thank you, Billy. Rejoin Bill Hall. He's down along Kingston's waterfront, and ready to take the plunge into the 10-day outlook. Hi, Bill. <laughs> yeah, not into the water. No, no. Uh, we're looking at a very, very beautiful conditions uh, for uh, several days in a row as high pressure builds across the Great Lakes, Lower Great Lakes. Uh, tomorrow, high 23 and mainly sunny. That 23 uh, might feel like a 27, but certainly a lot better than it has been. Friday and Saturday, highs of 24, mainly sunny. Mix of sun and cloud. Sunday, up to 24 again. Then we start to see the temperature rising. You want to bet humidity is probably going to rise a little too. Over Monday, a high. 25, Tuesday 27, and then we get back into the chance of showers on Wednesday at 40% probability, more of the same Thursday with a high of 25, rising to 26 Friday of next week with a mix of sunny cloud, and mainly sunny Saturday of next week with a high of 27. Uh, beautiful conditions. Uh, if you were planning on taking a cruise, you timed it well, and if you are heading out uh, to take advantage of Kingston Thousand Islands cruises, why not take a dinner cruise on the Island Star? Uh, Every uh, Thursday, they have special theme nights, too. And tomorrow night, they're going to have a Beatles tribute. That's right. And it departs at 630. Go online, uh, Kingston Thousand Islands Cruises uh, com, or uh, go to the information booth, pick up your tickets, find them on Facebook. There's so many ways to get your seat on board. I'm Bill Hall, and uh, we'll join you again next Wednesday on Crawford Wharf for Kingston Thousand Islands Cruises. We'll be back in just a moment. Your long range weather. Canadian dollar trading. High pressure building in the Great Lakes, giving you a nice sunny stretch. Uh, nice to see a bit of a relief in that humidity, too. Temperatures and humidity have come down. Your full forecast in just a moment. 26 for a high in Belleville, Kingston, and Brockville today. A 27 in Smith Falls in Ottawa. 27 in Peterborough. 28 in Oshawa. And a 27 in Toronto. So temperatures have come down. Humidity's come down a little, a little more comfortable. And uh, we're going to find that, uh, yeah, it's not like a near 20 feeling like, uh, you know, 20. 728 in the overnight anymore. It's a 14. Humid X, not a big deal. There might be a three point difference. We've got partly cloudy conditions for tomorrow. Uh, a high of 23, maybe feeling like a 27. That's reasonable. And mainly sunny conditions as well. And that sunshine is going to stick around. Probably won't see any active weather until the middle of next week. Enjoy. I'll have full forecast details in just a moment. This portion of the news is brought to you by your locally owned Midas of Eastern Ontario with lifetime guarantees on brakes, shocks, struts, exhaust, and now on tires. Come and experience the Midas difference. Don Van Dusen here. You're watching CKWS News at 11. Well, that nasty system that brought flooding to southern Ontario, Toronto saw all kinds of nasty, well over 100 millimeters of rain in, in a very short period of time, which flooded the Don Valley. That very same system moving out now. High pressure, a double high, which will soon turn into a triple high, is going to keep that Great Lakes Basin mainly clear, the lower Great Lakes anyway, looking at a beautiful sunny stretch lasting for several days. Belleville, you've got mainly sunny conditions tomorrow, high 25. A little more comfortable too. There's temperatures that come down, so is humidity. There's only about uh, a four point spread between your uh, daytime high tomorrow and the humid X value. Uh, Friday, it's mainly sunny again, high 24, up to 26 on Saturday, and mainly sunny conditions. Brockville up to 23 tomorrow with a mix of sun and cloud. Friday, a high 26, mainly sunny, more of the same Saturday, and a high of 27 degrees. Smith Falls rising to 23 with a mix of sun and cloud. You've got more sunshine Friday with a high 26 and rising to 27 Celsius on Saturday and mainly sunny conditions. Kingston rising to 23 degrees tomorrow. There is that mix of sun and cloud. That very tiny chance of a shower in the afternoon, very minor. Uh, it does look as if uh, it will be fleeting, too. It won't last very long. And then we've got a gorgeous sunny stretch uh, right up until the middle of next week. Hump Day next week presents 
a chance of showers. Until then, though, enjoy seasonal highs or just below seasonal. 26 is the seasonal daytime high.